Welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive in architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm your host, Sean, joined by AI and ML product lead and weather hobbyist, Johnny. Johnny, thanks for being here. Johnny's going to talk to us today about serverless chatbots. Many businesses struggle to provide a consistent and around-the-clock service to their customers, and they want to improve the customers' interactions with their brands. The serverless bot framework allows businesses to build an interactive chatbot in the cloud. Let's jump into it. All right, Johnny, let's jump into it. What's the serverless chatbot framework all about? Yeah, so I, I can take you through the landing page. So here's a serverless bot solutions landing page. As you can see here, on the right side, you get the deployment guide to get started and running quickly. There's a cloud formation template that you can launch in your AWS console, and the source code if you want to dig even deeper. Oh, pretty easy to get started, I see. So what about the solution design? Can you walk me through the architecture? Sure. So here's, here's the architecture diagram to deploy the bot. The users would deploy the Amazon API gateway endpoints to send the requests. The, the AWS Lambda core would handle the machine learning algorithm, and the S3 bucket would save the configuration files. Okay. Amazon DynamoDB stores the conversation logs, the interaction context, as well as the customer feedback. And you have Amazon Polly here to turn text into lifelike speech. Oh, wow. So lots going on. Uh, I see something at the top here, the sample resources. What's the story behind that? So this part of the architecture allows the customers to get started and running quickly using some, some sample resources that's provided with the solution. OK, so that part is the sample part of the application. Exactly. I see. Um, so you mentioned because it's a sample, customers would need to tweak this to suit their own application. Tell me about that. Sure. So customers would have to write their own Lambda functions to fit their business needs and their objectives. For example, if you're building a customer service application, you would have to write a Lambda function for ticket management. And then the customers would send their inputs and their contact info, and it would be saved into a database. I see. So you'd use a Lambda function to integrate with your backend infrastructure. What if I wanted to integrate with a third-party service? So the solution comes with a, a third-party weather API as a sample. So customers would have to write Lambda functions to integrate with the provided API or with a third-party service um, to fit their business needs. I see. And what if some of my customers are multilingual? Maybe they're not all in uh, North America. That's a good question. The, actually, the solution um, is designed to support seven languages, oh. Portuguese, Russian, English, French, uh, Spanish, Italian, and German. Oh, that's quite a list. I don't know how you could keep it all in your head. Um, so how would I get up and running if I wanted to give this a spin? Sure. So the solution comes with a web application as a sample. And customers can use the reference framework to build their own chatbot. Once they uh, launch the stack, um, the users would get an email with a link to the, the web application and um, credentials to log in. Ah, any chance we could take a look at the app? Of course. So once you're logged in, you would get this page. Here, you can start interacting with the bot right away. So you're just going to ask it a question, and it's going to hit the API gateway. Yes. Then you can start interacting with it. And all those interactions are stored in DynamoDB. Exactly. Oh, perfect. Johnny, this is a great way to get up and running quick with chatbots. Thanks for walking me through. Of course, Sean. Thanks. Amazing. This solution helps you get up and running with chatbots in no time. And the sample application makes it especially convenient. Check out this solution and many more on the AWS Solutions website. See you next time.